My name is Myra Jeffaloni. Welcome to CF Yogi. Today, we're gonna go on a yoga adventure to meet my friend, Joy Bob, the polar bear. So we're gonna go to the Arctic today, and it's very cold there. So we're gonna start by warming up with some dragon fire breaths. So to give this a try, let's take our hands together in front of our face and interlace our fingers. Then when we do that, when we interlace our thumbs, pay attention to which thumb is on top. Usually when you interlace your fingers, there's one that's most comfortable and you try that the first time every time. So just pay attention to which one that is. We don't wanna change it now, just pay attention. All right, so we'll start by putting our interlaced hands underneath our chin and on an inhale through our nose, we'll lift our elbows up. Ready, inhale. And then an exhale, we'll look up at the sky and breathe out. Sarah, you'll love this, a dragon fire breath. Very good, let's try that again. In through our nose, out, up to the sky. Very good. All right, one more try, make it a big dragon fire breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Very good. All right, we're starting to warm our bodies up with our breath, so we're starting from the inside out, but we also know before we go out on our adventure, or for those of us that have CF, before we go out for the day, we need to do our treatment. So let's try, you guys might remember this for some other classes, our treatment pose. So it's kind of like a gorilla pose where we take our hands into fists and beat our chest like, oh, it's kind of like that. But we know we can do a better job for our lungs if we cup our hands. So go ahead and cup your hands, just like I am, as if you're putting your hands underneath a water faucet and you're trying to catch the water, very good. So with cupped hands, we can beat on the upper lobes of our lungs. That helps us move the mucus around, get us ready for the day. Very good. Now, let's try moving down to our lower lobes. So right there at the bottom of your ribs is the lower lobes of your lungs. And give those some good pats there. Awesome, guys. Okay, now we're gonna hit the side lobes. So we'll start by taking our left hand up in the air and then swim our right hand around, remembering to make our cupping, and we'll go all the way from top to bottom of our ribs. Very good. If you talk while you do it, you might even be able to make your voice shake, just like when you're in the vest. Ah, very good, okay. Let's try the other side. Switching, we'll put our right hand up in the air this time. Swim our left hand around and go from top down to the bottom. Very good. Oh, you guys, I forgot to do this on the other side, but maybe if you lean over to one side too, you can really get in there. Maybe just a little lean. Okay, sitting up straight. Okay, we're gonna do the back. I'm gonna challenge you guys to reach around and pat yourself on the back. But before we do, let's warm up our shoulders. So let's do our shoulder warm up song. Do you guys remember this one? Roll your shoulders round and round. Lift one up and put them down. I said that wrong, so lift them up and lift them down, perfect. Lift one up, lift two up. Put one down, put two down. Going up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Very good, you, so, you knew it was coming. All right, now that our shoulders are all warmed up, we're gonna reach our right hand straight up in the air again, and then we're gonna try and bring our hand down and pat ourselves on the back. Can you do that? Really good, you guys, very flexible. Okay, let's try with the other hands. So we'll take our right hand down, put our left hand straight up in the air, Bend our elbow and see if we can give ourselves another pat. Good job, you guys. Okay, so we got our upper lobes in the front, our lower lobes in the front. We got our sides all the way up and down. We got our upper lobes in the back. Now for our very last challenge, we're gonna take our right hand, instead of going up in the air this time, we're gonna swim it around so your palm is facing backwards. See the front of my, you can see the front of my hand, but the palm is backwards. I'm gonna reach it around and bend forward and see if I can get that lower lobe. Very good. 
Awesome, give yourself a good pat. All right, let's try it again on the other side. Taking our left arm out to the side, putting the palm so it faces behind us. We'll lean forward and give ourselves a good pat. Making our voice shake very good, you guys. Awesome, and a big good morning stretch. Ah, all done with treatment. Okay guys, we're ready to go on our adventure now, but we need to pack a snack to take for our adventure. So let's go ahead and sit with our legs out in front of us on our mat or in our yoga space. All right, and let's start to butter our bread. Bending our knees if we need to a little bit, we'll go butter, butter, butter. A little more. Butter, butter, butter. Okay, just a little bit more. Butter, butter, butter. Very good. Now, we're going to meet a polar bear in the Arctic, and polar bears like to eat fish. So let's get some sardines to put on our sandwich. I know, I know, might not be your favorite, but if we're gonna share this with our polar bear friend, he'll love it. So taking our arms out to the side, or maybe you love sardines, which is awesome. They're very salty. Taking our arms out to the side, we'll twist to one side and we'll grab our sardines out of the cupboard. And they're very floppy, so let's flop them under our sandwich. Flop, 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 flop. Very good. Okay, now it's time for the top piece of bread. So we'll take our arms out wide, spin, get one more piece of bread. All right, ready? We'll take our hands all the way up and we're gonna bend our knees a little if we need to and fold all the way forward and place our top piece of bread on our sandwich. Very good. All right, so if we're gonna eat this sandwich, we put butter on it, which has fat in it, and it also has salt with the sardines, so we're doing good, but we need to remember our enzymes. So let's reach up one more time, up into the medicine cabinet, grab our enzymes, and we'll put them in our bag. So we'll put them in the bag in front of us, so we have those. And we're ready to go. All right, to head out to the Arctic, we're gonna take an airplane. You guys might remember this one. We've done our airplane pose before. We start on our knees, high up like this. Very good. Oh my gosh, I can see some of you remember already. Lovely. Okay, I'm gonna start by placing my right hand on the ground. Then my top leg lifts up and I'll reach that around and put that top leg foot right in front of my knee and reach up for the sky. Now this is a lovely airplane pose, but if I'm feeling really strong today, I might try and shoot my bottom leg out from underneath me, waving up to the sky going Nyo! Very good, we're almost there. Let's try that again on the other side. So coming back up to our knees, we reset. Then we take our left hand, place it on the ground, take our top leg and bring that foot around in front of our knee, take our right hand up to the sky, and if we feel really strong, shoot our bottom leg out. Very good. All right, we have made it to the Arctic Circle, and there is a sled waiting for us. Let's try our sled pose. Coming down to our bellies, we're gonna make a bowl shape for our sled. So you guys might remember this one. We pick our feet up like this, very good. Almost like you're trying to kick your bottom. <laughs> See how far you can bring your feet up and then we'll take our hands and swim them around and see if we can catch our feet or our ankles or maybe our pants. And this is a lovely bowl shape. This is wonderful. If we want an extra stretch for our backs, we can kick our feet back into our hands and come up into our sled pose and maybe even try rocking back and forth. That's fun. Okay, and then oh, let it go. That's a really great back stretch and it feels so good to just lay flat and maybe just be a sled for a minute after you tried your bull pose. Ah, but this sled is being pulled by husky dogs. So let's come up to all fours, curl our toes, you guys know where we're going, and lift our bottoms up into dog pose. And the husky dogs wag their tails so we can take one leg up into three-legged dog and say, uff, uff, and then try it again on the other side. Uff, uff. 
<laughs> I don't know if you guys saw, but I was kicking my tree when I did that. Okay, very good. So coming back down to all fours, and we're gonna come up to standing, and we're gonna take a hold of the reins, and we're going to drive these dogs, bouncing, we're kind of in a chair pose now, bouncing over the mountains, and oh no, there's a log ahead, you guys, ready to jump with me? I see it up ahead. Jump with me on the count of three. One, two, three, jump! Oh, there's another one! Here we go, one, two, three, jump! Oh, one more up ahead. One, two, three, jump as high as you can, very good. Whew, all of this sledding has worn me out. Let's try putting on our binoculars and have a look around. Oh, it's a nice, be beautiful day. So much snow on these mountains and oh, I see a big furry bear walking towards us. Let's try our bear walks. So coming down, just like we were in our husky dog pose, in down dog, let's lift up onto our toes and walk like a bear. Very good. There is a polar bear plodding toward us, and you guessed it, coming up to stand, it's Joy Bob, the polar bear, and he loves warm hugs, just like Olaf, a snowman that we know. So let's give big hugs to Joy Bob, wrapping our arms around ourselves, give him a big hug, and then taking our hands out wide again, and one more hug, this time with the other arm on top. Very good. Joy Bob says, oh, it's so wonderful that you are here. And he says namaste to the sleigh dogs that brought us here. So bringing our hands to our heart, we'll bow. He says namaste to the sleigh dogs. We have some animals to go meet and some joy to go spread. So we're gonna hop on some snowboards to snowboard down the mountain. Taking our legs out wide, we'll take our front foot and point it forward and then bend that knee. Taking our arms out, we're snowboarding in warrior two pose. All right, let's see if we can jump our feet and switch our legs. Ready, on the count of three, jump our feet and switch our legs, very good. Oh no, we're about to lose our balance. Are you a little wobbly like I am? Let's all try to do a nice roly-poly tumble together. Coming up to stand at the top of your mat, we'll lift our arms up, and then we'll roll down onto our backs. Woo! Just like we sometimes tumble when we go skiing or surfing or snowboarding like we did today. Oh goodness. It's okay to fall. We know how to do it gracefully. We know how to rock and roll and bring ourselves back up, but we've lost our snowboards. So to get the rest of the way down the mountain, Joy Bob shows us how he likes to slide down the mountain. Coming to sit on our bottom, we'll lean back, picking our feet up, and we'll try our boat pose. Whee! As we go down the mountain on our backs just like Joy Bob. Yay, good job, guys. All right, so we finally make it down to the bottom of the mountain and we see a waddle of penguins. Coming up to stand, let's try our penguin pose. It's really easy. We just put our heels together, put our feet out, arms straight down, and we waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. Try waddling them around your mat. Very good. The only thing is, these penguins are not happy penguins. They are very grumpy penguins. And the reason is, they're all talking and trying to figure out which egg belongs to who. They've lost track of whose eggs are whose. So Joy Bob stands in the middle of the penguins and claps his hands. Can you all try clapping your hands? Very good. Now try repeating after me. Here we go. Very good. <laughs> Lovely. So Joy Bob, in the silence that he hears, after he's clapped his hands, closes his eyes, and in the silence, you can hear the little penguins in their eggs singing their special songs that only their mommies and daddies know, 
and all of the daddies can go find which egg belongs to them. It's lovely. So we've brought, brought peace to the penguins. With our hands together, we say namaste, and we go walking off through the snow again. Remember our bear walks? Coming down into our down dog pose. Very good. Lifting up onto our toes, we go plodding through the snow. Lovely. Suddenly, Joy Bob stops. Coming down to hands and knees, he lifts his nose in the air and starts sniffing. See, Joy Bob can't see very well, so he uses his nose sometime to figure out where he is. And he sniffs and he says, I think I smell my friend, uh, let's see, Jeffrey the fox. So on our hands and knees, let's see if we can lift one leg up and make a bushy foxtail. Can you wiggle your bushy foxtail? Very good. All right, trying it on the other side. It is indeed Jeffrey the Fox, and he's cold and hungry. He was going fishing in the ice. He cut a hole through the ice, and then he fell in. He was able to get out, but he's shivering and cold now. So Joy Bob says, Jeffrey, don't you worry. Bringing our legs out in front of us, we're gonna pretend like we're Joy Bob, who scoops up Jeffrey grabbing our leg and our foot and cradling in our arms. Joy Bob says, don't worry, Jeffrey, you'll soon be warm. Switching it to the other leg, we'll bring our other foot and our other calf into our arm and say, hush -a bye Jeffrey, hush -a bye Jeffrey. And we hear Jeffrey's stomach growl. And we remember, we have that sandwich. Maybe we can share it with Jeffrey since he's so hungry and cold. So reaching our hand behind our back, just like we did before, taking our right hand up and then reaching it down. Oh, nope, it's not in that pocket. Let's see, let's try the other side. Taking our left hand this time, bending our elbow. Oh, there it is. We give our sandwich to Jeffrey and he's nice and warm. Oh, and now he has something to eat. It does feel good to give a gift, just like it does to get a gift, doesn't it? I know, I, my heart feels very happy. But then we feel raindrops, not raindrops, snowflakes. It doesn't rain in the Arctic, it snows. We feel snowflakes on our face. Go ahead and pitter-patter, pitter-patter your fingers all over your face, feeling the gigantic snowflakes that are falling. Coming up to stand, let's come into star pose and be a big snowflake with our feet out wide and our arms out wide. Look at those lovely, unique snowflakes, as big as we can make ourselves. Oh, you all look so powerful. All right, speaking of powerful, the wind starts to pick up. Can you swish? your snowflake around, very good, creating a big, powerful snowstorm. Oh goodness, we need to seek shelter. Let's see if we can find something. Putting on our binoculars again, taking our fingers to our thumbs, we look and we see an igloo. Bringing our hands up over our heads, can we make a little dome for our snow house or our igloo? Very good. The only problem is we don't see a way in. We're gonna have to kick a hole through the igloo to get inside. Coming down, placing our hands on the ground, let's do some donkey kicks to kick the door open. Kicking one, two, three, one more time, four times. Oh, we made it. All right, so now in the hole that we've made in the igloo, let's crawl inside. Coming down to our bellies, we'll place our hands underneath our shoulders and wiggle our shoulders until we're all the way underneath and oh, we've poked through and we can climb inside our igloo. Oh, very good. Climbing inside. It's nice and cozy and we're out of the wind. And Joy Bob decides that he is going to make a nice big pot of hot chocolate. So taking our legs out wide, we'll reach up and grab a big spoon that just so happens to miraculously be hanging in our igloo and stir our hot chocolate. Mmm. Now a lot of times hot chocolate has chocolate in it and milk 
And so we know before we enjoy it, we need to reach into our backpack again. But let's change the direction we're stirring first. Stir in the other direction just to get it all mixed. We know we're going to need to reach into our backpack and get our enzymes. So once the hot chocolate's all ready, we'll sit up nice and tall, reach our right arm up, pull our enzymes out of our bag. Nope, wrong pocket again. Left arm up, reaching in. Oh, there's our enzymes. All right, and now we can enjoy our hot chocolate. Taking one hand, we'll rub our belly, and the other hand, we'll pat our head, doing some brain yoga while we sit and contemplate how peaceful and nice it is. Very good, now let's switch, bringing our other hand to rub our belly and pat our head. We realize that Joy Bob brought joy to the penguins by helping them calm down, by bringing them peace, and he brought joy to Rodney by showing him love when he was scared and didn't feel very good. And so we asked Joy Bob, go ahead and let go of your rubbing your belly and patting your head. You guys did an excellent job. We asked Joy Bob, what is your secret, Joy Bob? How is it that you can bring peace everywhere you go? Even in the middle of a snowstorm, we found peace in an igloo. And he tells us a trick. So coming to sit in crisscross applesauce, we're gonna do a trick that I think all of you know. In fact, I know Sarah and Kate, you guys won the Team Boomer Challenge that we did a few months ago. And so you got your CF Yogi coloring book that talks about this exercise. You might know what I'm going with. Yep, it's peace begins with me. So you can all practice it with me. We'll start with our right hand, bringing our right hand out. Joy Bob tells us how he likes to do this exercise to bring peace to himself so he can spread it to other people. All right, bringing our pointer finger to our thumb, we start with peace begins with me. Very good, peace begins with me me awesome two hands you guys got this peace begins with me so lovely and as we sit here and learn this lesson from joy bob we start to see some lights all around us it's the northern lights and we can see them coming in through the window of the igloo that we're in go ahead and make a breath like you're gonna fog up a window Okay, and then we'll use our elbow to rub that fog off the window so we can see the beautiful northern lights that exist in the Arctic. They're gases that go through the sky, and they ref um, I think the gases themselves make colors, and they're so beautiful. I've never seen them in full force before. But now we have an opportunity to lay on our backs. So ahead and come down to your bottoms. And we'll lay on our backs in the igloo and make a snow angel. Bringing our hands out wide and our legs out wide. Go ahead and make a nice big snow angel. Very good. And once we have our snow angel, we can relax and nestle back in our nice, perfect spot with a view of the lovely northern lights. And maybe, as the northern lights begin to subside, you can start to relax your arms and relax your legs. And maybe, if you're comfortable, let your eyelids close and just think about how good it feels to be moving our body in new ways, in fun ways, being a little bit silly, seeing our friends, having a nice yoga adventure and meeting Joy Bob and Jeffrey and the penguins and spreading joy. I saw the word joy a lot this Christmas season in decorations and on cards. And I hope that I can take all of that joy and find it inside me this year when I need it the most. So I know I have joy in my heart and sometimes I don't always feel it, but I know if I go looking for it, I can find it and I can spread it to other people who might need it too. So let's go ahead and wake up our bodies by wiggling our fingers wiggling our toes, and then bringing our knees into our chest to give ourselves a nice big hug. Very good, before we rock and roll. Maybe one more time, rock and roll. Back up to seated. 
Very good, you guys. Oh, I love it. Rocking and unrolling is my favorite. All right, we'll close our yoga practice today with our secret yoga code word, which means the awesome in me sees the awesome in you. Let's say it together on the count of three. One, two, three. Namaste.